Okay, I was, after all that, I was going to get into a little bit of additives for reducing permeability. The additives that um, Bill mentioned uh, in our practice standards that we uh, allow right now is bentonite and dispersions. And he mentioned the polyphosphates as well as soda ash. And I'll kind of go through these with this a little bit and when to use them. Now, bentonite should be used is for sands and some silts, usually non-plastic silts, and not clay soils. Adds high plastic clay-sized particles to fill in the gradation, and they swell and fill voids. Now, dispersions is a, a little different. It's used for clay soils, and it's particularly plastic clays, not sands or silts. It separates, disperses, the individual particles by satisfying electrical charges through, through ion substitution. Basically, uh, clays that you compact that have high permeability are calcium-based clays, and what you're doing is replacing the sodium ion in place of that calcium, because sodium is a one plus ion. Now, for, for coarse grain soils that use uh, High permeability from gradation are normally with few fines, less than 35% passing number 200. They even have less clay, usually less than 10% passing in number 200, or 2 millimeter, 2.002 millimeters, excuse me. And these are sand soils. High permeability from low plastic fines non-plastic or slightly plastic fines, sounds into silts that are less than a PI of seven. Bentonite, uh, you now you need to use sodium bentonite, not calcium bentonite. And the Atterberg limits on sodium bentonite have liquid limits as high as 600 and a uh, plastic index of about 550. Now, if you, if you do want to use a, a bentonite uh, treated liner. Uh, testing should be uh, done with the bed night that uh, you potentially want to use. Not only the type, but the, the gradation of bed night. You can get a different gradation. You can get number 200 bed night, number, uh, which is everything's finer than number 200 sieve, or you can get, uh, which we typically use in the lab, number 10 bed night, which is everything finer than the number 10. And of course, uh, the finer work a bed night, like the number 200, might work a little bit better on silt, but it's a little, a lot harder to apply, and you, it's a little bit of a mess, if, especially if your work area is in a, a windy time of year in a windy state. Now, highest quality bed night can uh, be is mined out of northeast Wyoming, southeast Montana, and western South Dakota. And they all have distributors throughout the country that you might be able to obtain it, different companies and so forth. Now, a, a nice way of testing it, it's an easy way. Uh, it's, a, it's a free swell test. Basically, it's ASTM D5890. And you, you add, in the graduated uh, cylinder, you put a some bentonite in it, then you add water, and then you measure how much it swells. And it should swell at least 22 milliliters. Another way of checking it. Now I'm going to jump into soil dispersants a little bit. Um, we mentioned the polyphosphates. It can be called TSPP and STPP, and also soda ash. And we found uh, we use soda ash quite a bit in our agency, uh, mostly because it can be found just about anywhere. It's not as effective as the polyphosphates, but it's about a third cheaper, too. So you can use almost twice as much and still be cheaper. And common salt uh, can be used as a dispersion. We do not uh, allow it in our, our practice standards. And uh, because the long-term results are inconclusive. Now, for uh, dispersants, uh, 
you should have a significant clay content greater than 50 percent passing the 0.002 millimeter size or clay size and significant fines greater than 50 percent passing number 200 and plasticity should be greater than seven. <laughs> 